Andy Morphy, it's got to get outdoors. How are you, kid? Hey, shake him. Yeah, shake him, mate. Hey, hey. Uh, yeah, I'm off for a camp, buddy. Just wondered if you fancy coming. No? Okay, mate. Hey, Russell Dry, the Druid Rambler. How's it going, mate? All right, that's enough, mate. Yeah, right. I'm off out for a camp, buddy. Just wondered if you fancy coming. you got to go to Aldi. Right, okay, mate. No worries. Jock one, what you saying, my son? <coughs> All good, mate. I'm off out for a van camp if you fancy coming. you got to go to the butchers. Right, okay. Take care, mate. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Solo van camp. Let's do it. Right, we've arrived and it's a little icy in places here. Not too bad though, but we don't want to get stuck, do we? Oh, you are frigging kidding me. Right, I'm just looking on Met Office now. Here, I'll show you. Don't know how much of that you can see, but tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., we're forecasted 50% snow. And it's at zero degrees and one degree. Strike a light. Oh. Obviously, this here isn't for the exact location. That's for Wall under Hayward, which is about a mile and a half, two mile that way. So this is it. This is decision time. What what are we going to do? Is, do we stay? I mean, the time now is only five to two, but <clears throat> do, do we stay? I mean, up we're higher up here as well. So Wall under Hayward, you have to come up about... I'd probably say we're about an extra 60, 70 metres higher than the actual village itself, Wall under Haywood. So, I don't know what to do now. But I've had experience with Met Office in the past where we've been wild camping and they get it wrong. They get it wrong for the best or it could be they get it wrong for the worst. This is it. What do you do? This is the problem in winter. Right, let's make a decision. Executive decision has been made. I'm gonna stay, but I'm gonna keep an eye on the roads and keep an eye on, because it's starting to spit outside now, and that spit, when it gets cold enough of rain, could well be snow, because we're quite high up here. But we're gonna keep an eye on it, we're gonna stay, and we'll go from there. But in the meantime, I got some gear to show you guys. So the first bit of gear I want to show you guys, and it, and it is, it's, it's a smaller scale of probably what you've seen in plenty of other videos, but it's this. This was sent to me from a company called Vega, Vegger. I'm going to go with Vega, I think. And it is called Tank. Can you guess what it is yet? Yeah, you guessed it, guys. It is a small, I say small, it's very weighty, but it's a power bank. So as you can see up the top there, you've got three USBs, you've got two Type Cs. You can turn it on at the top. So it also just gives tells you your percentage, but also it tells you around the sides here as well if anything's charging. But also on the top, it's got this torch. So that's bright, dim, and then and then obviously off. I've been using it at home for the past well probably ten days since it arrived. It is quite a weighty thing. Um, I'll put on screen now how much it weighs because off the top of my head I, I don't know but this is quite weighty but it's got quick charge with it as well so Vega who make this power bank have actually been kind enough to send me two when I say two not two of these I'll pop on screen what I mean now they're like emergency power banks they are and um, they're only 5,000 milliamp hour each uh, they've sent one for iOS and they've sent one for, for your Android so your type C all you've got to do is write in the comments if you want to be in with a chance of winning one. Hashtag iOS or hashtag Android or even hashtag iOS, hashtag Android if you're greedy and you want to try and win both. But thanks ever so much to Vega for sending this over. Um, I will feature it later on and just show you how I've been using it with my, um, with my phone and charging it up and using the quick charger. But yeah, if you're interested in winning what you've just seen on screen now, um, they are only emergencies, um, like I said, 5,000 milliamp hour, but they're great just to keep in your car, especially with the winter coming as well. You've got an extra bit of backup. That's how I like to look at it. This is either sleet or rain that's coming now. <sighs> 
friggin hell boys and girls just to give you a scale of what it's like just over there is um brown clay hill that's got all white on the top and then when you start looking over on this field here let me try and zoom in for you um that's got all white on the top of it as well <laughs> what's going on what's going on no oh, you won't see jack all in there oh yeah So I've actually purchased something then that's going to help me through this winter van camping uh, and it's something that wasn't expensive but it's something that I know will seriously help me out and that is a heated blanket. Yes, I purchased one. That setup though I will show you later on just so you can see what it's like and I will leave a link in the description as well to the electric blanket. There is also this as well. This is the Endex Robe. Now you probably see a lot of people using robes and that when they go out on, on when they do water sports etc. This, it will feature in some videos in the future as well, but for now I'm going to be using this to keep me lovely and warm because it is fur all on the inside and it is waterproof on the outside as well. Oh yeah, I was at the bonfire night at Love to Stay and there was loads of people walking around in them and I thought, really? What the hell are you walking around in a robe for? And to be fair, I actually know why now, because after having that on, it is bloody lovely. And you know what folks, more than anything, when you're watching this now, it's Christmas Eve! So I'd just like to take this chance, very briefly, just to wish you all a Merry Christmas. There will be a couple of videos coming out just before New Year, but solely just in this video, I would love to say Merry Christmas to all of you fantastic lot. For those of you that have supported me over the year, I know there was a good two, two and a half month gap where I didn't upload anything after the, um, the Great Glen Way in Scotland. But for those of you that are stuck with me, I, yeah. Honestly, I, you know me, I'm absolutely crap with words, but I would really just like to say thank you. Let's just keep it simple. And talking of Kofi, I'd really just like to say thank yous to the loads of people that donated. I'm going back earlier on in the year towards the end of last year, um, but more recently as well. Um, Donna Trosdale, thank you for your um, donation. Jason Day, thank you for your donation. And Jim Brace. Um, very much thank you for your considerable donation that was um, for all three of you that has been wow but and I appreciate I am not a polished channel and I, and I will continue to make the videos how I intend to make them whether that be in the van or whether that be in a tent yes there is some tent camping coming I can assure you of that it's time for me to get the jackery. See what I did there? I'm a poet and don't you know it. Oh! Christ, it's freezing out there folks now. So one of the reasons I wanted to come out tonight on this camp, um, whether it be with someone else or on my own, um, it was mainly because, as I mentioned earlier, I've got this heated blanket and I wanted to come out in the minus figures I mean, we all know as well, I have done some serious camping in the tent in the past in some absolute shite weather. So even this was a bit of a dream for me as well. Um, when I got the van and I started thinking about things that I can do. Um, it's this, having my laptop in here. And on whilst I'm on the move as well, I can do some video editing. I can get the film sort of done in advance from when I get in home. And I'm just powering it off. The Jackery. I mean, it's great. It's only taking 43 watts and that's with the laptop plumbed in. And also the GoPro batteries being charged. And there's some lovely colors in the sky now. So this is what it's like for me at the moment then. So I'm sat editing away and look what I've got going on out here. 
Just look at that wintry sky. I mean, how beautiful does that look? Right, so I've just plugged my phone in onto here. Um, you can see the little green light that comes up there. So this at the moment is quick charging. Right, it is time for me to get some tea on the go. I say tea. I was going to have tortellini and all the works with it, but I don't really fancy that. So tonight, for tea, it's going to be American pancakes. So it says these are dead simple to make. Just fill the bottle to the fill line, which is there. That's used sod all water, to be fair. I am liking that. And shake vigorously, it says. Should be all right with that. Shake vigorously. We're going all out here, folks. We're just going to make one massive one. Oh, shit. It's splitting. It's splitting. Oh, you absolute cretin, Roberts. What the hell are you doing? Honey always makes everything taste better, though, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I think that's... Jam solid in there. Oh, fucking hell for you. Mm. You don't want to watch this. I'll see you later. Right, the time is seven o'clock. We're gonna get the bed up and I'll show you this heated blanket. Okay, so this is it then. So it is just for a single and it comes with that connection. Then all I'm gonna do is just clip that in. So you'll see that it's got like a little rib here, a little dot and that just clips into there but you've seen all this before if you know what a heated blanket looks like anyway that's me i'm not going to jabber on for any more in the evening i'll give you guys a sit rep on how the night went fingers crossed for my first solo van camp we have no problems see you lovely lot in the morning good night morning glampers we have survived it's been very cold out there this this wow what the hell can i say bloody good so when i first got into bed i kept it on number three for about uh, the first couple of hours which then it was starting to get too hot and i've just left it on number one all night and just to give you an idea about the type of power that it's consumed Excuse the glare off the uh, the screen, but there you go. It's been taking eight watts on low power and I've still got over 40 percent battery remaining. Well, folks, that's it. I've decided to get up at my pit. I've decided as well. I'm not going to have any breakfast. I'm not going to have any coffee. As it's Christmas, let's go to McDonald's. And this is what it's like out here this morning. You can see that it's very, very frosty on the ground here bloody slippy but the road does not seem so bad 8 a.m. it's forecasted snow and heavy snow between 8 and 9 come on Kev lad you've got this bloody condensation again folks I need one of those like vacuum condensation hoover things that I've seen they look awesome breakfast done and demolished and I thought I'd give you a quick lowdown on last night so I'll put on the screen next to me now um, a screenshot so I left my little temperature sensor on the roof last night and you can see at about 10 to 2 2 o'clock that's where I started to put the diesel heater on because the temperature was increasing so it was obviously retaining some of that warmth coming from the shell but that's it from me it's been an absolute enjoyable camp the Met Office have still forecasted um, snow for 8 o'clock. The time's just gone 7 now, and I'm almost back home. I hope every single one of you have a fantastic Christmas. 
make sure you reach out to loved ones make sure you reach out to friends because it's this time of year where people may not necessarily have the relatives or friends that they may have had this time last year but reach out to them wish them a Merry Christmas and guys thanks ever so much for the support and I'll see you on another adventure